I'm going to try to keep this brief. Uh, primarily because I'm afraid if I don't, Wallingford will yell down at me from wherever he is. Cass, it's getting boring. <laughs> That's the way he was. He called a spade a spade. He also called a full house a full house. I never met anybody in my entire life who could draw to an inside straight with such consistently positive results. It used to gall me. It drove me crazy. He was so incredibly lucky. And so are we. Because we knew him. He was our friend. I think what was so special about Wallingford was that he always believed that you could do whatever you wanted to do, be whatever you wanted to be. He wasn't about to put any limitations on himself or anybody else. It was his profound belief that you dream it, and then you go for it, all the way, full out. I thought that I was the one among the three musketeers who took chances. But upon further reflection, I realized that Wally was the one who always went out on a limb way out, time after time, as vulnerable as he was. And he did it all in the name of friendship. He knew that we only passed this way one time. So there was only one way for him to live, to the fullest, with every dream he could dream, every skill he could manage, all the luck he could muster, and giving, always giving all the love he had. I miss him with all my heart, but more importantly, I'm so grateful that he graced us with his presence. myself I wouldn't cry but <laughs> so much for that promise right <laughs> you know I suppose I should tell you a joke or a story I, I know that's exactly what Wally would do <sighs> there were so many times I would walk into this place and he would be behind that bar with that dippy grin and he would say did you hear the one about the Republican babysitter <laughs> it was not funny but he did get me to laugh he always made me laugh. Cass was right. He would try anything. He would do anything. In fact, because of that, we got into quite a few scrapes, Wally and me. One night, we even spent in a cage with a gorilla. <laughs> in fact, she was in terrible need of a little perfume, I, I would say. And we spent more than one night in jail, but always for a good cause. A good cause to Wallingford was anybody who needed help. You know, I've often thought that that's why he was put on this earth, to share all that love he had. You know, he, he really didn't take life too seriously. He would say to me, Felicia, if you're going to do that, you're going to go straight downhill. And he was right. Because he always could see the truth in everything. He taught me to challenge myself to be honest and to live life 110%. and to always hold my head up high. Well, pal, it's a little difficult today because I miss, I miss him already and I know I'll miss him for all the rest of my life. But it's time now. It's time for me to say goodbye. So to my sweet, sweet.
dear friend. I thank you. Goodbye. Let's all stand up, please, and join hands for a minute of silence. Say goodbye. On Wednesday, January 6th, 1988, Brent Collins, our beloved Wallingford, died. It was very easy to love this gentleman. He was an absolute joy to work with. His humor, integrity, compassion, generosity, spirit, optimism, courage were an inspiration to us all. The effect he had on everybody he touched is his legacy. The cast, crew, and production staff of Another World, you, his fans, and so many others will miss him dearly. We pray he's at rest. We know that he brought you tears and joy. You know, when you see a performer on television that is as charming and captivating as Wallingford, you often wonder, what is he really like in real life? Well, we can assure you that Brent Collins was the most kind-hearted, most lovable, most generous man that we have ever known. In his personal life, he was a caring, loving man. In fact, Brent tells a, a very funny story. He walked down the streets of New York, and a man walked up to him and said, Hey, don't I know you? I see you every day. And Brent smiled, and he was very flattered, and he said, Why, thank you. I'm, I'm so happy that you like the show. And he said, What show? I'm your neighbor. I see you in your backyard. And then Brent responded, well, I guess you put me in my place. <laughs> that was our Brent. You know, when you walk up to me and you ask me about your beloved Wallingford, and you go on and on, and I say, oh, he's wonderful, I then often say, you have great taste. And you know what? You do. We will miss Brent greatly, all of us and all of you. We share your tears today. This is Linda Dano, and I love playing Felicia on Another World. I'm so thrilled SoapNet is taking us back to Bay City. Every weekday, turn on SoapNet and return to Another World. SoapNet, pure soap 24-7, the new way to watch soaps.